the trail again and again. Hiking and hunting and fishing the land. Time is time we'll spend. We'll take it to the Delta. Welcome everyone to Mississippi Outdoors. I'm Kevin Meacham. And I'm Amanda Mills. Thanks so much for joining us. Kevin, you know, the Mississippi Delta is so well known for its outstanding deer herd. It is, Amanda. You know, and I've hunted there most of my life and it's phenomenal. Folks, we have three shows for you this week. The first show takes us to Issaquina County where the crew is going deer hunting near the Mississippi River. That sounds great. like we have pockets of deer. They're here. They're where Joel's going. They're where, Don, where Donna and Hunter are going. You get off of that, and you go from seeing 15 to 20 to five. It's crazy. Let's see if we can get him today. We're hunting today with Mississippi Outdoors in Issaquina County during the rut. We have seen a lot of deer here. We got one particular deer we're hunting today. We have nicknamed him Heavy, and we'll see what happens. What are you shooting today? Seven millimeter short action ultra mag. Small buck. Mm-hmm. Activity has begun. What time is it? You ready? Mac. We had a great hunt this afternoon. Saw a lot of bucks, four or five good rack bucks. Almost shot one, decided not to. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, I've had pictures of him since August. I'll tell you what, though, when he walked out, I didn't know who it was. I just said, well, you're getting a shot, my friend. First See that right there? Something bit his ear Something off. Something bit it. You can tell you get bit. 
He's been fighting big time too. He sure has. Yeah, he got bit. Uh, well, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See what happens when you shoot a real gun up high? <laughs> as soon as I grunt it, I mean, I, the call is still at my mouth. I see out of the corner of my eye, down the other lane, I see a horns walk out. You get those shots where you just black out and you just, natural ability just pops in and you yeah. just shoot, well, that's yeah. what happened. But I was walking up to him, I was like, man, I know he's a good deer. Yes, I mean, I shot him based on this beam. And I was like, I mean, I know he's a good deer. He went past his nose. I mean, there wasn't no doubt in my mind when he walked out. I named him 90. Because in trail cam pictures, you can tell a lot more, but in trail cam pictures, it looks like right here, it just turns like a 90 degree turn. All right, folks, we're back at it again this morning in this Queen of County. Weather's turned off a little warm, but uh, it's the rut, and we're gonna go after them. That's pretty cool to see first thing in the morning. He's standing right there. Well, folks, this morning, not only did we see a lot of deer, but we saw a uh, cub bear. That's pretty neat to see. We, uh, we see them from time to time. It was a small cub. Looking for rugs. <laughs> back at it this morning. We came to the same stand. We thought we saw heavy. If he comes out today, he's in trouble. Bluebird day, 35 degrees. Just sitting here waiting on daylight. Well, I don't see me shooting that. There's another one.
He's studying something. Mm -hmm. What deer is that? That's heavy. I watched that deer for almost three weeks. Finally. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Oh, man. Whew. Shaking? It's just a little. <laughs> I just had, just had that feeling that later in the morning he usually gets up and makes his rounds and I'll be darned, there he was. That's him. I tried to save him for my wife. And then one of our members that doesn't get to come much came up and I put him on it. And well, needless to say, that didn't happen. So I ended up with him. Look at the head on that joker. You just don't know the feeling to be able to hunt him and see him and, and then to be able to enjoy it enjoy this this is this is what it's all about this is wow folks we had a great week of hunting saw a lot of bucks a lot of deer we were fortunate enough to harvest the buck we call heavy so all in all great week see you outdoors in our next story bass fishing is on the menu at pickwick lake I had the opportunity to fish with legendary bass pro, Kathy Hurst. We're at J.P. Coleman State Park this morning. We're going to go smallmouth bass fishing at Pickwick Lake. I'm with Kathy Hurst. It's been over 10 years since you and right. I have fished on Mississippi Outdoors together, so I'm glad to be back with you yeah. today. What are the fish doing? Uh, they're probably relatively shallow. Uh, they should be in a spawn pattern, maybe backing off a little. I know when the spawn, when they should have a few weeks ago, we got a real good cold front that came through and I, I feel like it backed a lot of them off. So maybe they're back up and trying to do their thing again. Well good. Well I'm excited. I'm glad to be back with you. It's, Me too. It's cool this morning but it's going to warm up so it should be a good day. It should be. The wind's supposed to be uh, where you can deal with it anyway. Yeah. So should be fun. All right. Let's get after them. Let's go. Kathy, where are we going to start out? We're going to 
fish right in here at first and kind of shallow and then we may back back a little bit. All right, what are you gonna throw? I'm gonna throw a plastic bait. Uh, you may wanna try your chatter bait. I think a lot of people have been having pretty good luck with them up here. All right. Well, I've missed two. Second one was a good one. Stop running my mouth and just fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Little buddy, you got big dreams. First one of the day. Small mouth, Pickwick Lake. They're usually better than that, but if you can't catch the little ones. He still has milk around his lips. <laughs> <laughs> grow just a little bit yep <laughs> hey but i'm not gonna do a jimmy houston and kiss it <laughs> oh why not now <laughs> we got one. Oh yeah oh, yeah. oh got a net yeah but it's put up i don't <laughs> all right oh that's a good one it is I'd take him in a tournament if I yeah, was exactly. still fishing him. You miss your tournament days? No. <laughs> I miss the people. Yeah. A lot of the people. It was 93, I think, they came. And Roger Stegall said, you know, you ought to fish that. You can drive a boat. You could fish it. And I did, and I came in, uh, I don't know, placed in the top 10 and had big bass or second big bass the first day you know and won some money and mike said you can do this you can do this and i'm like i hated every minute of it <laughs> well you have quite a name in mississippi oh yeah come on in oh my gosh what a piece Oh, please don't get off. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Monster. Yeah. There you go. Hey, look <sighs> at that beauty. She looks a little fat. How about that? Wow. It's not a small mouth, though. No. But... <laughs> Still fine, though. Still fun. Here, I'm gonna take a picture. Pickwick Lake. It's a pumpkin head, mm -hmm. jig head, and that's a D-bomb. Huh, yeah. Let's guess the weight on that one. Ooh, she was, she was thick. Almost, I know it was over five. I'd say between five and six, and it could have gone a little over six, actually. Good tournament fish. Yeah, it would have been a great tournament fish. All right. A oh, oh, a catfish. Wow. Wow, hey. I guess that one was. All right, little catfish. Need some help with it? Well, yeah. <laughs> Just be still. There you go. Hey, he's pretty. He is pretty. You want him? No, I, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's a large mouth. Oh, good. Get him in. It's another nice one. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Oh, sorry. There we go. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Need some help? Under the bag. No, I think I can get him. Where's the large mouth? Where's the small mouth? All oh, right. Got it. Not bad, huh? It's pretty. All right, we got one. They sure are strong. I'll say that for them. Yes. Good size. 
There he is. All right, come on in. All right. Pretty fish. Yeah. Those colors are really pretty. We've had a great day at Pickwick. Maybe a, oh, it's a hey, crappie. Hey, look at that, a crappie. <laughs> oh. How funny, we were talking about that earlier. Nice one. Nice one. It's pretty. A little crappie action at, on Pickwick. We've caught smallmouth, largemouth, catfish. And crappie. And crappie. <laughs> All in a day's work. In our next show, Charles Ray Nick's WMA is the site of a quail research project. There's nothing like seeing a covey flush, and the guys got some good shooting in too. Here we are at Charles Ray Nix, probably one of the prettiest pieces of property you want to go on to. Not only enjoy deer, turkey, whatever, but also we got our shooting range up here. But today we're here for a special reason. We're here to show you the elusive quail. <laughs> Wildly. Wild <white> quail. <laughs> Wild quail. Wildly elusive. <laughs> exactly. We have Colonel Steve Adcock, a director of our technical programs, Larry Pugh. Dr. Sam Polis, myself, Russ Walsh, Amy Blaylock, our Wildlife Bureau Director, Mark Yarbrough, who's our Area Manager for Charles Ray Nix, and our Regional Biologist for this uh, Northwest region, Brad Holder. Uh, so we hope to tromp around Charles Ray Nix today and get behind the dog and uh, hear a covey rise. There are quail at Charles Ray Nix. Now we just got to prove it on this little trip we're fixing to take. This is Ike. Ike is a 10-year-old German shorthair. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. cover for thermal cover or escape cover. These fresh disc rips, when they start growing back in the spring, they'll be uh, good brew rear and cover. Work in here. Come on, work in here. Come on. We started predator trapping a few years ago, primarily targeting uh, uh, nest predators like raccoon. It's part of a well-rounded management plan. You know, trapping can be a component of that. What, you, what, what we need to focus on first and foremost is, is habitat, which we've, we've created out here. Ready for that? 
this whole deal from the time we started is is a lot like i don't know if y'all watched it that bigfoot hunter show <laughs> <laughs> the elusive bigfoot now we're looking for the elusive quail well, no, wait a minute we no, have no, seen wait. we've got a visual on, on we got a visual <laughs> yeah, no, we're wildly elusive quail but now we're just a, well, now we're just wild quail <laughs> Hey y'all, thanks for watching this episode of Mississippi Outdoors. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or check out other episodes from previous seasons. Also, be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on future shows. Time will spend